Okay, we are back. Continuing on. Mm, chopping firewood. Who are you? Hmm. I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Oh boy. Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. Hmm. So oh, now we're playing her. Hmm. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction of marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry. She told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. Is that a good thing or a bad so, thing? Uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Ooh, hey, I'm gonna chop some firewood? Thing. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. What's that? Uh... He wants to move too? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronin's, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. Mmm. Okay. I'll move in. Allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Mm. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah. There's this spot called Buzzard Hole. I go to at least twice a week. It's like Ooh. an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first. Thing he mentioned that. Up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all smeagle about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. I like him. Oh god, I'm suddenly like full speed running. I didn't expect a full speed run. Ooh. Am I doing a thing now? Where? Where? Right here. I want to have the crispy tocino and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Auntie Tessa, huh? Still make those. What are they called? Fried banana rolls. Ooh, that right. sounds good. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Oh, right here. Hey, Ollie! Look, I'm the ruler of this kingdom. Get it? Because it's a dome. Kingdom. You're gonna fall, stupid. That was funny. No. I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Hmm.
Is that all there was? In the area? Oh, that's creepy. Nothing else around here? To react to? I guess not. What's that? The future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Becky? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas. And he's not exactly charismatic. Hmm. The snowman! Look at him! He's so freaking cute with the veggie hat. The Vecchi hat, rather. That's, that's adorbs. A, a big canoe thing here? I don't think there's anything else. So. Alright, time to go in. Oh boy. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. Did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is mm. the word for it. Yeah. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated yes that's one way to describe it well don't let me keep you any longer i'll be here if you need anything oh hey is tessa around today um the wife's not in it i'm sure she'll be around later though well thank you tom fecky for being a little bit more respectful I forgot my phone. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Hm. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you to my world famous pancake? Ooh, busted. Hmm. Birch syrup. That? Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. What's, what's that? Mm, plain candles are fine. Oh, I didn't know we were doing candles. Huh, fine. I guess we got plain candles. Hey, Tyler. Candy or chips? You know, I got a sweet tooth, sis. Candies then. Sugar rush it is. Where am I putting this? In my my back pocket? I want some Zick crisps. Can I have some Zick crisps? Oh, look at the giant pumpkin. Can I put in a guess? You think we should get the organic one or the industrial strength planet killer? Industrial strength. Judging by the state of the house, I think we're going to need top of the line. Planet killer it is, then. Okay. Oh, there's bottled water. What else do we got that we need? Oh, can we take the cactus? I want the cactus. What are we doing? What are we... Inventory, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. 
my mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Uh... This place is a mess? What place? I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. Oh. <laughs> you really saved my ass when you caught that. Yep. And you still owe me for it. Anyway, how's your day going? We found something. We, uh... We found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? Yes, I do, I do. Not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. Mm hmm But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, dude. Ooh, what's that? Hey, Tyler. Remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. Aww. Daw. He's so cute. Ooh. Hey, Tom. When'd you get that new California plate? So by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? Cool. Ooh, it's a giant anchor. Strawberries in November. What do we still need to get? Something to drink. So over here, yes. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Mm. Wish any of it sounded good. Let's see, can do. Oh, we sell this much produce here. I mean, kale. In Delos Crossing. Yeah, Tessa was paleo for a hot minute, and her whole gaggle of church ladies followed suit. The madness spread from there. We'll do juice. OJ sound good to you? Yep. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Okay. Can Allison, I I'm waiting with paper groceries? Hold on. I need to chat more with uh Go chat what are you more. Up to tonight? Gonna probably drag my busted ass back home and collapse in bed. No. I even make it that far. Do you sneak in dance practice when it's dead like this? Yep. We got that big show coming up at the community theater, so I take every chance I can get. Need any help? Nah. Go enjoy your day off with your brother. Aw. Tessa been on your case at all today? Yeah. Tom's campaign's got her pressed like a fucking panini. Tessa been on your case at all today? Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Like Alright. I'm coming to check out. Oh, can I have one of the little bears with the things around the snack? That'd be cute. And the mugs. All kinds of stuff here. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Okay. Okay. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Did I just Hi, Tessa. pay we just quarters? To talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh. oh my god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. 
Okay. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. Oh. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Oh. Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. Oh, man. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but... It was God's plan. Oh, don't, don't That's put that know. shit. I need to go now. Don't pull that shit. Best of luck to you, truly. What no. What the hell was that? That's not God's plan. I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. I agree. Something's very strange. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Uh, Tessa's on edge. How's Tessa today? She looked a bit overloaded earlier. She's a real busy bee. Ever since I started campaigning, she's picked up the slack around here. She's practically running the place. I hate to break it to you, but she always kind of has run the place. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> How's business? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice Live. But don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She <laughs> thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What do they think up next, huh? How's the campaign going? What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you later. Let's see. Casting call. Role of Rodolfo in La Bo Boheme. 21 to 31. Male, athletic, graceful, spirited, all background, singing ability, a must. Jawbreakers? Fresh meat boot camp. Um. The Delos Dol Dulcet's Live? Free concert? Catholic Halloween celebration. October 30th, 2015. Okay. I think that's it. So, so what are you thinking? Can I investigate your shit? I can't open that when she's here. Is there something I can do for you? What are you up to? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? Hmm. <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. Just shopping? 
No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything, but, uh, thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. Okay, and then... No, never mind. Can I open this now? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Oh! Yes, I'll take you! What's this doing here? The Pius Pelican. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out more heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Okay. Anything else? Oh, yeah, she's off today, off tomorrow, and then working nine to five, nine to five, nine to five, nine to five. Okay. Nothing here that I could look at. So we do have some range for our voice, which is helpful. Oh. I'm feeling it. Where am I feeling it? Right here. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Oh. Or do I need to start calling in your debt? Uh-oh. Oh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Wait, what? What? Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Mm. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? No, Tessa was. She went on Jack Thompson on her. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? You're hearing this? Marianne was looking for a fight. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. So Tyler... Hmm. Which is it going to be? I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Please, let's just talk for a few hmm. minutes. Hmm. So I have to choose. Oh, this is hard. This is really hard. Like, who might have remembered this? Oh. I don't Which know. So Tessa was angry, or Marianne was angry. Talk for a few minutes, okay? 
please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Alright, well, choose this one. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. Okay. What is wrong with you? Huh. Interesting. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? No. No. It was impossible to hear anything after she'd cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Oh boy. This is going to be an interesting adventure if I have to choose which memory to follow. Is there something I can do for you? Your fight with Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. Mm hmm. But, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. The debt? Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. Fair enough. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Okay. Oh, got it. Hypothesis. <laughs> hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Remember that one song? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. Oh boy, here we go. Is it right? I think so. <laughs> yep. Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Okay. So we can be reminded of things. Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. 
know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Yep. The kids keep pestering me for these candies. They're so expensive. Don't just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Mm. She was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet over there. Okay. Let's see. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? Uh oh. What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. There he is. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. She did give him the transgender book. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne? The, the transgender thing. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad. Maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. This is true. I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Hmm. Is there something else around here? Or is it like when I get to the book? Probably when I get to the book. Okay. What's this? Should I switch? Uh, let's check this first. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Can't do anything here. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Someone got paid to write this. What does that say? June 24th. $24, or June, $24 for a meal at restaurant paid off. $11 doll for the kid. Um, Eric, $50 February paid off debt. September, $20 for gas paid in full. Oh, I, I didn't want to go that way. Shit. This way? And then this way. No show. Oh no. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. Fifty dollars paid off. Thirty-seven plus thirty. New jacket for Allison paid off. Uh, Twenty-one for medicine paid off. Forty. Groceries paid off. Help during rush inventory. 140 for washing machine repairs. No show. 55 new shoes for kids. Check bounced. December no show. Not returning calls. January no show. Damn. So she stopped paying her dues. something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne. Good idea. Well, uh, Tessa, is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Okay. Thunder mail! <laughs> Linda, urgent. Um, this is not alone. That's spam. 
Alliance for Oh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Watch Dr. Whitmore's talk articulating God's design for sexuality. Ten powerful Christian quotes that will change your life. A Parent's Guide to Preventing Same-Sex Attraction. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Now it's 20. Oh my god. Uh, garlic Peeler Kitchen Tool. Hi, Tessie. Just got back from my workation and found the girls in bed sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said they were riding high when he picked them up from your place today and apparently you got them both to eat care care? Please let me know what saint you pray to pull that off. LOL. All morning they've been going on about their camping trip with Auntie Tessa and all the s'mores they ate and bugs they caught. I can't remember the last time Sorry, I lost my place. Last time they were both this happy at the same time. Usually it's one happy, the other crying. I know you're busy with the store and getting ready to be first lady, so thanks for making time for them. So sorry about the last minute drop off. You know how work has been. The girls say, we love you, Auntie Tessa. You and Tom, P.S. You and Tom should come for dinner sometime. Adrian's been dying to know to show them the new media room, which will keep them busy while we drink wine in the kitchen. Your favorite little sister, Notorious, and I see. Um, elephant in the room. I know y'all don't want to have this conversation, but Lisa is flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't shown up in weeks. I know we were all moved beyond words by her performance of Danny Boy at Carl's funeral, but what good is a beautiful voice if you can't show up on time every week like everybody else? I think we should start planning the winter gala without her thoughts. Barb sees the day Robin Williams. Oh, I miss Robin Williams. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Do I have... Anything else going on? I don't think so. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. All right. Well, time Is to there fess up. I can do for you? We remembered stuff. We're back with details that should help your memory. Hi, Spooky Trevor. Oh, really? Yes, really. Mary Ann was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing. And you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. October 2004. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated. But you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Uh... You told her about the camp. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was... coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I oh heard boy. such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help. Both of you, at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. Now, how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool who I was. Mm. She was more than that. She loved you. 
Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Interesting. And yes, I am spooky. <laughs> I'm trying to get through this game. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. Marianne, she had my back. Wow. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. Yeah. She still tried to kill me. Did she? But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. Well. I am enjoying it so far. Full confession. Sweet. So we're at the police department to see Uncle Eddie, apparently. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? Right. In the mean streets of Delos Crossing, just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, point. he's probably in his office. Upstairs. This is weird. To just casually walk Damn. into a... They still got this creepy mask on, huh? This thing scares the kids. Yeah, I keep telling Eddie to get rid of it. He terrifies all the kids that come through here. Okay. Did it open? No, of course not. Hold on. Of course. It's locked. Join the team. Well... Should I decide the wild world of accounting isn't for me? Uh, can't really picture you in the uniform. Really? I think I could pull it off. 100% college tuition paid? Damn. Maybe I should have joined the National Guard. Beats having your credit card stolen by an online college. True. Hey, Tyler, too soon. Oh, that's still not cleaned up. I wonder if the black oyster catchers were still nesting during the spill. God, I hope not. Sign the petition to protect salmon migration. A little too late. <laughs> okay. Please wait in line, thank you. <laughs> I am the law.
Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. Hmm. It's freezing in here. Okay, can I go in? Is it unlocked? Nope, it's locked. Locked. Okay. Everything's locked. Mm. Eddie must have locked it already. They're sending psychic patients to what? Oh. Where? I don't know. Let's read this first. Uh, subject patient transfer 2015. Be advised that due to overcrowding issues, patients Dean Becker and Kevin Sutton or Sutton will be transferred to Fallen Creek Correction Center. Um, that's all I can read is just who they are and their weights and stuff. I wonder if we're going to end up meeting these guys. It seems very prominent to be here, so I wonder if they're oh, going to be Greg. future characters. Just leaving this out on display again. Greg. Like Officer Greggs? The one who was with us that night? Yeah, he's still here. He became a bit of a local celebrity after nabbing a murderer from Juno. The guy was hiding out on a fishing boat and got really, really sick after eating out of the chum bucket. Mm. So it was actually a pretty easy takedown. Well, family. What's that? Oh my god, that's the cutest. It's cute, but don't tell me you've got baby fever. Ew, no. It's... Vitamin always jump to that. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Becky's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. Wow. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide they become an adult? While you were in juvie for ten years? Where is that? Right here. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Damn. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. What's this? That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. And now she works for the police department? What a small town. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. Remember this fella? No way. Is that Jet? Yep. He, uh, he died last year putting himself between D and a bear. Oh. Damn. Or D. Right, happy birthday. Wish her happy birthday. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. Aw. Uh, what's that? Oh, trail sled dog race winners list. Huh. Hmm. 
All right. Visiting everybody's desk is weird. What's that? Is that a case? Oh no, we're, we're looking at the drawer. She's gonna give me so much crap for forgetting her birthday. Uh, let's read it. Oh, happy 29th birthday, Denise. Keep up the good work, Eddie. Another year to prove that older doesn't really mean wiser. Have a kick-ass day, Dee Dee. Uh, Dan. Bye, Dan. Okay. Enjoy your last year of youth before joining the bitter 30-year-old lady club. Don't waste it, Rosie. Hope you enjoy those spicy chocolates. Happy birthday, D. Joshua. Happy birthday. You don't look a day over 100, Maria. <laughs> okay. And then there's a key. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. All right. Huh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. So I can't I can't take the locker key. So I'll have to come back to get D's locker key. Once I find the lockers. Whew. That is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. Okay, that's that's it here. I guess. that <laughs> man they are never gonna catch this guy what exactly did he do stealing from mailboxes this guy keeps stealing out of people's mailboxes asshole snagged a box of fancy washi tape i ordered online <laughs> uh see i was picturing an actual mailbox bandit you know like hopping around on a post with a little mask on the door mm. huh you know the mailbox is the bandit that's actually funny. Sorry, it was a bad joke. <laughs> I got it. Oh, uh, so he's like the like the Amazon package stealer, but he steals stuff out of mailboxes. Just people writing in to complain about they're not getting their mail and stuff. I already did that. The water and food. Ooh, it's here. Missing persons. Remember Mr. Haynes? Vaguely. He had a workshop in his garage, right? Made those huge glass sculptures? Yeah. He's been missing for a couple months. Oh. Yeah. Always liked his art. Who's this one? They never did find him. This happened when we were kids, right? Yeah. Marianne freaked out and wouldn't drive after dark for a few weeks. Huh. He was 33 when he disappeared. Damn. What's this one? He was supposed to host an art show just a few days after he went missing. 58. What happened to him? A disappearance. Weird. This is going to turn out to be some really weird murder mystery, isn't it? So I can't just push it open. All right. Something's in the way. Okay, fine. We'll just go upstairs. Tyler, you coming? Okay. Um, 
guessing this is where they stash all the guns and stuff. See armory. Well, it's not exactly Fort Meade, but yeah. Okay. That leads up to a porch, I guess. Find some files about Marianne in the archives. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Never mind. I'll ask Chief Brown. Didn't find anything else up here. Okay. So I guess we'll just check this out. Allison, hey. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. Oh boy. It's gonna get tense. Whoa. No? I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. Hey, we can't open this up still, right? Yep. Still blocked. <sighs> Something's in the way. That's the holding room. that where are we going we're just gonna sit down in here and I'm gonna ask you a few questions okay okay huh yeah. just remembering I guess I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here I would too Can I... Can I open this? Whew. Rose never lets me back here. Anything else here? Just... We're just gonna log on to the computer? Rose left the computer on. Uh, I don't know the... Oh. Hmm. Wait a minute. What's that? Ah. <sighs> new administrative software. Please reset your password with the introduction of our new administrative software all employees must reset their password please note that the reception desk computer can now be accessed using any officer's id and password talk to sally or me if you have questions rosie using any officer's id and password so this is rosie's um I wonder if it has something to do with the dog. Maybe the dog? Oh, well, this is Dee Dee. Take her out for a birthday drink. Remember this fella? No way. That's Zach Jet. Jet. Yep. He uh, he died last year putting himself between Dee and a bear. Let's oh, check Rosie's yeah. desk. Where's Rosie's? Well, that was Rosie's desk, but. Jet. So that was I Jet. Take her out for a birthday drink. Uh. Wait. 
Officer Denise Wilson. Is there a Denise Wilson on here? Sarah Wilson? No. I'm trying to think like if they used she used one of the uh the dog's names for a password. There's puppy. Or they could have used um well it's five words, right? Not five letters rather. Yes, I do want to steal the key. I think it's five. Which puppy? Let's see. Um, what is the, f the family? Who's is this? I don't remember. You remember Dan and Shelby? Dan I think and so. Shelby. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Vecchi's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an adult? Okay. So he doesn't mention the daughter's name. So that is Dan. Who's got the obvious one? This is Joshua. That's Greg's. This one is... Can't read that one. So that's Denise Wilson. Hmm. I want to get into this real bad. So... Maybe puppy? Damn it. Not puppy. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. Hey, that coffee is sounding real good. Where's the break room? I gotta investigate the stuff. So that's Vincetti. What's the daughter's name? Doesn't say the daughter's name anywhere. You remember and then Dan and Shelby? Shelby's so. not five. Who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in oh, the parking lot. Yep. Fish. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Oh, I bet you it's fish. Did everybody decide to become an adult? I bet you it's fish. Maybe. Or is that too many? P H. I uh, no, yeah. That should be enough for Vincetti. Let's see. So we can just use P H I Ah nah. Oh yeah. Damn it. Shit. Really? 
I'm mad. I'm mad. So, who's freaking... I can't say who who's this is. That's six letters. Vecchi's six letters, so that can't be Vecchi. And... Maybe it was on that card? Oh. Looks like she forgot her locker key here. So... Thirty-year-old lady club. Twenty-ninth birthday. Okay, so that that doesn't really tell me anything. Have something to do take her out for a birthday drink with this that's six nugget is six hot foot like puppy works Rambo Hmm. Tanner? 2013 is Tanner? That's six. Six. Maple? Larry? Salem? Could be any of them. Maybe we'll come back to this. Because the dog's name was Jet. No. I guess we'll come back to it. Or we won't. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so determined, though. There we go. Okay, let's go in. Ooh. Oh, is this where the lockers are that I can unlock? locked so that key is in her drawer that I will have to go get league standings didn't Tessa buzz a dawn for smoking weed behind the store once yep but hey is this crazy D's locker I think so yep I think so we need a key to open it. yep we're gonna get one. Oh, there's the league standings Arctic Puppies, Musher's Little Helpers, Snowmies, Lightning Howlins. Ugh, they've let this place get gross. Okay, so let me go get the thing for the... the locker. Oh, I could actually... There's a thing blocking the way over here, right? Because this just leads around. Yep. Let's move that. This is heavier than I expected. There we go. Let's... I thought there was somebody standing there. That was weird. Let's get that locker key. There we go. She won't notice if we borrow this, right? Just put it back in the same spot. Yeah, everything's fine. Okay. Go, go, go. Unlock. 
We really shouldn't be in here. Yes, but you never know where we might find information about that knife. I guess so. Balto came through. Balto. I bet you it's Balto is the password. So Wilson leaves her locker key in her desk and her password reminder in her locker? That's so irresponsible. An intruder could easily access all kinds of police files with this. <laughs> yeah, like two goblin intruders. So... When you're on my 20th birthday. So it was Balto. Oh wait, winner on my 20th birthday. So she's 29, it's 2015. So nine years ago. God, I suck at the suck at math. So nine years ago, so 2015 minus nine is 2006. Okay, so we got to go back to that list. So we're going to put that back. Like nothing ever happened. Okay. And then we're going to go to... I should take her out for a birthday drink. Look at 2006. Salem. That's what it is. It's Salem. I could have probably tried all of the five letter dog names without even looking at the going into the locker, but. Okay. Bingo. There we go. Ah, from oh. Sam. What about him? Oh man, just a he heads up. He was for public intoxication last week, and that was not his first offense. He's on a bit of a downward spiral. No oh boy. Just a heads up, since you are picking up the relief shift tomorrow morning, Sam Kansky spent the night in the drunk tank again. Maria picked him up outside Bernie's last night, drunk out of his mind and terrorizing customers. He dozed off pretty quickly once he got to the station, so he should be better by the time you get there. He might have a huge hangover, though, so I'd bring him a big-ass coffee and donuts if I were you. Have fun. Lost and found set of keys. Miss Reynolds brought a set of keys that she found laying on the ground outside Vecchi's this morning. Three small keys plus a bottle opener keychain. If anybody comes in looking for them, they're in the lost and found cupboard. I would have filed this properly, but that new administrative software bullshit was down all day. Seriously, whose idea was it to change it? I'd like to invite them to this new two-way rifle range I found. Peace, Gregs. Um, just between us, season two complete DVD says shipped. Okay. What's the Bennett one? Hey, D, are there any slides or reading material for your lecture on Friday? Also wanted to let you know we had lots of people sign up, so expect a good turnout. And wear your cutest suit. I think these kids really enjoy your talks. Keep it up. Uh, when I dare to be powerful, to use my strength in the service of my vision when it comes, when it becomes less and less important whether I'm afraid. Audrey Lord. Uh, hey, Kayla. Yup, I'll send you the slides as soon as I get home. I'm so glad to hear this. Here's my secret for keeping kids' attention. Tales from the detox tank. Last time I told them about how I got into a high-speed chase with a drunk guy on a snowmobile, I might have embellished some details, but it was all spiritually true. LOL. Whatever it takes to get your point across, right? Hashtag scared straight. D. Okay. And... Girl, you're preaching to the choir. Looking forward to Friday. 
Kayla Bennett. Okay. Oh, hacking. <laughs> I got a trophy for it. So there's some keys in the lost and found. Is it in here? Or somewhere else? You're right here. Can you? Yeah, let, let me get through. <laughs> okay. That's gross. I'm not that hungry. Old cookies. Yep, that's that's the same newspaper that was back at our place and there's old pizza and anything else in here? There's coffee here. Wash your own cups and dishes. Ooh, that's gotta be a new record. Four days without a bear sighting. You okay? I'm just feeling a little nauseous. Why? You think they'll mind if I take one? Uh. These are definitely the same cookies that were here last week, but knock yourself out. Ugh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> Check out this masterpiece. You made it? Uh-huh. I glued it to the pot one day when I was bored, and nobody has bothered to peel it off. Nice. What does that say? This is your lunch area, keep it clean? Yeah, nobody did that. What's this? I'm not going in. Why? I want to investigate. Ooh. I really want to investigate. How is this still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? There we go. Mm-hmm. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all gonna be fine, okay? Hmm. You okay? What do we lie about? Honestly? No. Do you ever regret? No. No way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now? No way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, oh boy. Are you sure? I guess I missed something. Eddie was so uncomfortable he dropped. Or no. It's over here. Here. Have a seat. All right. Damn it. No. Sorry. Huh. They kept this? The what? vase? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Why? What is in here? It's like... Oh, wait, wait. Huh. What's that back there? Oh! No way. All this time? Yes, I got another creature. Mm. 
the Ice King. See, it pays to look around. So, isn't Brown waiting for us? We should head back to his office. Why'd you want to come in here? You wanted to come in there, and now you don't. Oop. Why did you separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. Hmm. You're awfully quiet. Yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to deal, but it's a lot. Let's see what other stuff memories take us. Can we unlock that? Yep. Anything out here? Nope. Okay. Oh, can we? Can we go in here? No. Are you coming? Hey, there is. sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Hey, do you remember this guy? Yeah, of course. How can I forget? Tyler Ronan, back in Delos Crossing. <laughs> it's uh, good to be back. And just look at you. A man grown. Mm-hmm. Yep, guess I ate my Wheaties. The whole clan's so proud of you. How you work with those kids at Fireweed. I would say children of the future. <laughs> I thought that was Whitney Houston. <laughs> Come on, bro. She stole her entire act from me. Everybody knows that. Look at you two. Reunited and it feels so good, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not sure how I got by without this dork. Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. Oh boy. I found something in Marianne's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? What were her last days? Or no. She was worried about something. Maybe? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. Her mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. What were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No. Everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Something doesn't sit right with him. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> we don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. But you're the chief. 
which makes it even more important that I follow procedure. Look, Chief Brown, are you gonna help us, or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? No, it's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but Fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about Fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. That's what this is about? Oh boy. Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense, but we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. Oh boy. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Let's move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three years is nothing compared to seven. Right, Allie? Uh... You know what? Being kept apart was wrong. I agree. Look, Uncle. Separating us like that did not help me heal. If anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, Little Moose. Little it Moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Sounds like this. I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. Oh boy. What? What is that? You saw that, right? That wasn't just me. What the fuck was that? That is unsettling! Oh my god. Oh my freaky god. Oh shit. Please mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you. Wait, wait, what? What? Oh my god! Really? It was Allison? Who did it? Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. No, oh no. my god. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's going to be okay. We're going to be okay. 
okay. <laughs> oh my god. Just this whole story just took a turn. Just took a whole 360 degree turn. Holy shit. I just, just gotta leave it. Oh my god. Wow. So I don't know about anybody else, but I'm invested. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, bravo. Uh, I don't know what that thing was. Or like why it manifests itself. Like, is that something they're really seeing or a creation and was mom psycho or was she on her medication off her medication trying something else i don't know but my god tyler took the blame for his sister or rather ollie took the blame for his sister so his sister wouldn't have to be punished Holy crap. That is a twist. That just changes the whole thing. So she should have been the one that went to Juvie, not him. Like. Wow. I... just trying to process this <laughs> alone is just nuts but just just everything and i i do find it interesting that they threw the tra the transgender thing in that was something i never would have expected i thought they were just twins that's why I got confused in the beginning where I was like, is that a girl? Is that a boy? It's like, no, it's a girl. No, it's a boy. I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> so it, it kind of, it delves deeper a little bit further than the surface. And I mean, I can't speak for any transgender individuals, um, whether or not it was used appropriately or how they conveyed it, obviously, because... I have no experience in the matter, but I'm still, I'm really interested. Also, freaking fuck Tessa for recommending that she fix her son. That is, I can't even believe anyone even consider that. I mean, at least she admitted to the mistake, but that still doesn't change the fact that's what she tried. And yes, he did call, he did call that figure the Mad Hunter, but I find it weird that it came to life like it was there. Like that part confuses me. Are are they gifted because something was gifted with their mother? Also, where's their dad? Like there's there's so many questions. I I have so many questions. And why was the mom acting really weird in the last few months? This is, this is like a giant murder mystery now. Not really a murder mystery. We know who killed her. But we don't know what led up to it. And it's interesting how it forces you to side with, like, do you believe his view of the story or do you believe her view of the story? And I feel like that's going to get a lot harder in the future. But damn. I'm surprised they threw that last part in right at the end of the first chapter. Like, you think that they would save that for 
later, like when you're really trying to figure it out and then just throw it in like a curveball, like, like chapter three. Oh, by the way, you should know this, <laughs> but damn. It's going to be a test for sure to get through this, to figure it out. I, I wonder if they're going to give us the option to like figure it out or guess correctly or if there's an incorrect matter. I don't know. <sighs> What'd you guys think of it? Are you guys still alive? I know it's late, but <laughs> Amber's alive. I don't know if anybody else is here. Also, that's a lot of testers. <sighs> I'm just so tired. <laughs> For anyone watching this later, it's currently 2.16 in the morning that I finished this so I am very tired my my energy level went from to <laughs> it it's it's disintegrating before my eyes these are some long credits just for the first chapter I wonder when the second chapter is going to come out if it's going to wait a couple months if it's going to kind of follow the pattern of like two or three months later, or every month, or I don't know. Oh, here we go. Here's, here's my results. Tyler and Allison. Allison was happy that Tyler accepted Eddie's peace offering, and I was one of the 78% that accepted the ring. Oh, so you could throw the ring in the water or refuse it. So I accepted the ring. Um, Allison was delighted to solve the princess riddle with her brother. 84% solved the door puzzle. Cool. Tyler felt supported by Allison's trust at the store. 54% chose Tyler's memory. Okay. So I, so I guess I chose well. I don't know correctly, but well. Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. So 72% sided with Tyler. Sim Kansky. Tyler earned Sam's respect. 51% called out Sam. Good, because obviously, even though it's a sensitive subject, you need to approach people directly and let them know, like, this is not okay, you should say this, or I think you should respect me, you know, there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with correcting people, like, you know, like even Sam had kind of mentioned, like, you know, this old man, not used to this stuff, it's like, well, start. <laughs> Tessa Ve Vecchi. Tessa opened up to the twins about Marianne. 48% learned the truth. Eddie Brown. Eddie felt rejected by Allison when she didn't side with him at the station. 72% sided with Tyler. So I, I chose basically the general... Uh... So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Oh boy. Oh, Baker, go home. Oh boy. We're gonna break into the police station? Damn. I like it. I wish I could play it, but no Xbox. I don't know if my laptop can handle it. I think sometime in September the second part come out. Hmm. Well, that was fun and interesting. Um, so whenever the second part comes out, so did I get all the collectibles? So I did. I did collect all the collectibles. So I got the Crafty Goblins. Uh, the Mad Hunter, which is freaky, the Wise Princess, the Pious Pelican, and the Ice King. Oh, I can listen to them? Wait, what? The Ice King is the lord of the whole forest. He is so powerful that no one dares to challenge his commands. The Pious Pelican is the princess's generous friend. 
She has a magical beak that is always full of food and never empties. Hmm. The wise princess is a runaway from a far off land. She won't tell anyone what she's running from because just thinking about it makes her cry. Oh. She's friends with all the animals in the forest and has a kind and generous soul. Oh. The mad hunter is a cruel and ruthless creature. Once he starts hunting someone, he never stops. He'll chase his prey to the ends of the earth if he needs to. No one can escape his piercing eye. Creepy. The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting into mischief, but they have good hearts. Well, now we know a little bit more about that. So we got the collectibles. What are the consequences? Oh, that was just... Yeah, that's just what we read. So we collected everything. Cool. Well. And Amber, you might be able to look up on the internet if you know your uh, laptop specs to see if you can run it. Maybe you can even run it on the lowest setting. But, um, so yeah, it's late. Um, I'm very tired. That was a very twist of an ending that I wasn't anticipating, and this story has already become a lot more than I could ever imagine. And I'm excited for the second chapter, whenever the heck that comes out in the future. So, um, I like it. I like it. I have no quarrels. I, I have no objections. I am curious where it'll go and how it plays out. And let me know what you guys think about it so far. And that, that's about it. I'm probably going to go to bed now because I'm exhausted. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And at some point in time in the near future, we will continue this journey. But until then, a new adventure awaits us. So... Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.